Joining us now is Ian Flanagan. Ian, welcome to the show. How are you? Hey, doing, doing well. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, you know what's so exciting is that with this new technology, we're still like trying it out, figuring out ways to uh, make technology work for us. So you were kind of in the virtual green room, if you will, while I was interviewing uh, the guys from Dirty Dancing. So now you also, in your own right, you know, have this new song that's coming out. Are you super excited? I'm really excited. Yeah, we have a new single, Last Name on it, coming out this Friday. So we're really excited about it. Now, who are the people that uh, worked on it? Writers, producers? Um, myself, Barrett Baber, and Ryan Rossibo. We're all writers here in Nashville, Tennessee. We got together one day and we were just decided to write a really upbeat song about getting engaged and the people that you love. and. So I produced it with Craig Alvin and Todd Lombardo, also here in Nashville. Now, I know it's not released yet, but what's the first little lick of it? How's it, what can you share with us? Oh, well, I'll tell you, it's got a really great summer vibe. It's um, got a very interesting lead and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of cool melodies going on in it. Okay, so uh, the first line, just in words, how's it go? You got it all. You got it all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got it you have to hear the whole thing all. in con Yeah, you have to hear it in context. <laughs> now you've you've had some fame recently. Um, let's talk about that journey. How, and how has that impacted your life? Oh, you know, I've been a traveling performer for the last decade and my family and I we were living out of a twenty four foot Winnebago camper, just traveling the country on our own, raising our daughter uh, wherever we were touring. And I found myself on season nineteen of The Voice where I was with um, Mr. Blake Shelton as my coach and was fortunate enough to make it to the finale. And afterwards is where I got signed by Reviver Music and we started releasing a couple singles, which has led to a, a full record release. A full record, a beautiful journey, right? Were you surprised at how it worked, meaning like the process, like that this was really gonna become a reality in your life? Yeah, you never really know what's going to happen when it comes to the entertainment industry. You kind of just have to give it, give it all you got and uh, treat everything like a learning experience. You know, those big production shows, as you know, you're on one right now. It's a lot of timing, a lot of communication, and there's a lot more to, than just singing a, a song for two minutes going on. So for me, I was just really grateful to be there, be a part of it and have the learning experience. But no, to be honest, I, I was not really expecting anything as much as I was there to kind of just learn. So it's all exciting. And, what, and so are you going to be touring now with the new song and all the different things? Are you looking forward to yeah, we, new touring dates? Oh, yeah, we love touring and uh, got the full band now. We've been touring a few dates this past month and we have stuff for the rest of the summer. Be up in New York. We'll be all around the country. Well, when you come to New York, I hope that you'll bring your Winnebago by here. Are you still in the Winnebago or do you have like a tour bus now with like fancy painting on the side? No, we, we do a lot of flights. We do a lot of flying out as a band. Right now, we actually moved into a house, so we're up in um, north of Nashville now. So it's it's ah. been good. It's all been a good learning curve for us. Well, my daughter's in East Nashville, and Nashville is the place to be. I, it's just a thriving community. You know, it's always been there, but it just seems like now it's like on a boost. It's on an upward, joyful boost. So it must be an exciting time to be down in Nashville. Yeah, I agree. There's a, this is the place to be if you want to write music specifically. A lot of passionate, driven people are here. It's, um, it's a great community. And where do you find your inspiration for your music? You know, all over. Um, I do a lot of co-writing down here, and I think that one of my favorite inspirations is just traveling, really. You get to meet so many different communities, different people, different stories. You get to um, try to write for a specific events. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm really inspired by everything around me. But working in Nashville, it's very easy to be inspired by the other artists around. Everybody's kind of top tier around here. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. You drive down the street, you walk down the gulch. I mean, you're there, you're, fo you're footsteps away from, um, you know, those that have been there, those that are there and those that will be there in the future. So uh, it's it's music. It's a music land all the way around. Um, Ian, thank you for stopping by today. Continued success to you on your journey. And um, are you going to write a, a song for your little girl? Oh, yes. I've written a few. Um, 
You know, we're always, they're always coming out, whether they're funny or serious, but she's always a source of inspiration. I love that. Um, thank you to you and happy journeys to you always. Hey, thank you, Donna. Have a great day. And I, and I want to see you perform in person when you come in New York. I'll definitely uh, get a ticket. Thanks, Ian. Bye-bye.